At an early age, Rita begged her parents to allow her to enter a convent. Instead, they arranged a marriage for her. Rita became a good wife and mother, but her husband was a man of violent temper. In anger, he often mistreated his wife. He taught their children his own evil ways. Rita tried to perform her duties faithfully and to pray and to receive the sacraments faithfully. Her husband was stabbed by an enemy, but before he died, he repented because Rita prayed for him. Shortly afterwards, her two sons died, and Rita was alone in the world. Prayer, fasting, penances of many kinds, and good works filled her days. She was admitted to the convent of the Augustinian nuns and began a life of perfect obedience and great charity. Sister Rita had a great devotion to the passion of Christ. Please let me suffer like you, divine Savior, she said one day. And suddenly, one of the thorns from the crucifix struck her on the forehead. It left a deep wound which did not heal and which caused her much suffering until her death on May 22nd, 1457. St. Rita's feast day is May 22nd. She is the patroness of impossible cases. Heavenly Father, Father you, you granted to St. Rita, Rita a share in the passion of your son. Give us courage and strength in time of trial, so that by our patient endurance we may enter more deeply into the pastoral mystery of your Son.